Nam the Kano raised alarm, speaks against Boko people in our midst. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, Nam the Kano, has reacted to the recent release of repentant Boko people members joining the Nigerian society as regular persons. Recently, some 602 repentant Boko people were released into the society after they denounced their membership of the group and swore oath of allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria. They took the oath before an 11-man quasi-judicial panel headed by Justice Deizena Afolabi of the Federal High Court, Gombe, after months of participation in Operation Safe Corridor a multi-agency humanitarian effort led by Defense Headquarters that was launched in 2016 to encourage Boko people to surrender. The program is based on the radicalization, rehabilitation and reintegration of former members of the insurgent group that has terrorized the Northeast region for over 10 years. You arrested Boko people, jailed them, released them and allowed them to join the army and take them into battle to fight Boko people. Do you see how sick Nigerian is? He asked. God created human beings with brains to reason, but I kept wondering and asking God what's wrong with the black man's sense of reasoning. Black people there is something fundamentally wrong with the way we reason he added speaking further in his sunday broadcast on radio biafra he said when brory was alive they said he is a hard man he is a general but look at seven children dying in his village doesn't that tell you that brory is no more they thought that the lost Biafran between 67 and 70 means that they can go on and take over Biafra, but there is something they don't know about Biafra. God may punish us, but we will we'll never allow you to take over Biafran land. If you want your name to be heard, you must say something about IPOP. That's how powerful and formidable we are. He concluded. Thank you for listening to this news. Well, um, viewers, Mazi Namdekano has just said it right. You understand? It is not right after. Um, releasing some repentant Boko people, you now give them the opportunity to be at the war front with our own Nigerian soldiers to fight their own same Boko people. Yes, they took an oath, quite all right. But I tell you, do you think that these Boko people believe in oath taking? Do you think they believe in what you have forced them to take? These people you see that you mixed up with our Nigerian soldiers will end up going to the war and betraying our Nigerian soldiers. Who knows if they are the one or the brain behind the, um, the disappearance of some of the soldiers that were killed without seeing their dead bodies. Who knows we are just confused we just we just we just allow people to make use of us like that they deceived you they deceived you completely who knows my viewers I want you to be start saying things 
from the right point of view of Mazin Namdekano. I, I was telling someone that Namdekano doesn't just speak. He speaks what he sees and what he believes that is happening. Do you understand? What has happened is what is revealing to you. You understand? Namdekano has just told you that it is dangerous. It is dangerous mixing the book of people with the innocent soldiers. It is dangerous in the sense that these Nigerian soldiers are committed soldiers to this country. These people have left their family to go out as far as some Bisa forest to go and fight the Boko people and you are mingling them up with the same arrested Boko people to go and fight their own people. Hmm. I tell you, we have made that is the terrible and the greatest mistake that we have made that we have made. You see, President Mobari, whether he's the person in Asorok or not the person in Asorok, what I know is that if truly he is a president, is 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 the is the same president Mobari, he hasn't done right and he hasn't risen well. And it's paining me that the um, he, he, President Mobari takes decision without um, uh, without seeking the consent of other other people he only believe in his own decision making if it's not his own decision it could be no other person it is good that we see the consent of of others before you make any decision or or and before you make any decision whatsoever it is very good you put up you set up a committee to help look into into the matter you want to you want to uh, take decision on you understand let them wait let them, let them listen to to it weigh it and try to see how reasonable the decision you are about to take and know if it worth taking but in this case president mobari has chosen to be autocratic without listening to someone else he will just go on and take that decision. See how he took decision on on, re on releasing the, 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 the repentant Boko people. Who told him that they have repented? Who told him that they have repented? Is, is, is it pronouncing it with the word of mouth or 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 or, uh, or having it in their hearts? And sincerely having it saying that they will not go back to their people. Abba, I tell you this that the president hasn't done it right. He hasn't done it right. And bet you me, I need I, I will I will need you to go out there and make your findings. Concerning what Mazin Amrikanu is talking about, the person of President Mobari. If truly the person taking this decision is truly the president. You understand? Because if he's truly the president, the attention given to his people in Katsina won't be this uh, won't, 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 won't be this, be this kind of attention. See what is happening in Katsina. Of recent, Katsina experienced an, an attack a, a, a militant attack where 18, 18 uh, 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 citizens in Katsina we are, we, we are killed with some soldiers and I know that the president won't say that he's not aware so I keep asking myself too just like Mazin Namdekanu is asking himself and came up with a conclusion that is the person in Asorok truly the president? Because if he's truly the president, then he wouldn't have allowed what is happening to his people to be happening to his people. You understand? 
So, uh, my viewers, I would like you to contribute to this issue. You understand? Please, um, don't hesitate to leave the comment behind. Mm -hmm. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.